Hi, I'm Miss Lori, and welcome to my kitchen. Hi, guys. Now, I don't want everybody to be jealous. Why not? <laughs> Look who's in my kitchen. It's Miss Vicki, and she is cooking me supper. Can you believe it? She's cooking in my kitchen, and I'm so excited. What are you cooking for us? Garlic Vendetta. But this time, I've got a video out there already, but this one we're doing a little different. We're going to put chicken in it. Yum. And leave out the pine nuts. Vendetta? Vendetta. That sounds it's, evil. It's that Italian thing. <laughs> it sounds good, though. But anyway, she'll hang around and we'll see, see how she does this. All right, this is a quick and easy meal. I love doing this, and my whole family loves it. We're going to start out with sun-dried tomatoes, and you can use the ones packed in oil if you want. I use my home dried ones, dehydrated, but you can use whatever you have. This is just sun-dried tomatoes with julienne cut, which is perfect. And these are just small strips. So I'm just going to put some in there, and I do not measure. You just kind of throw them in. And I think that'll be enough. So just about like that. And then we've got some fresh basil here. But we also have a mixture of oregano, basil. You said there's a little sage and thyme mm -hmm. that Miss Lori had from her garden. And there's still kind of leaves in there, so I'm just going to crumble them. And it doesn't matter if some leaves stay. It, this recipe is just real forgiving. Just kind of break them up. Yum. About like that. <laughs> and again, I don't measure if I can help it. Are you a dump a dump a dump a woman? A dump a dump a this and a dump a dump a that? <laughs> yeah, I think that's Italian <laughs> Italian, Brian is, but it works. <laughs> My grandma was a dump a dump a woman. Dump a dump a this. I'm a dump a dump a that. <laughs> and a pinch of this. That's and, Italian. And a dash of that. And where it gets its name is I use this little minced garlic in the jar, but you can sit there and chop fresh if you want. It's a lot of chopping. Hey, I have watched Tressa. She chops a whole jar full. And I could, but you know what? For this, we, we don't have time. But not for this, no. Uh oh. I use a lot of garlic. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> and we'll taste it to see if it's enough. Because <laughs> you've got to have enough. And then and I'm going to chop some of this fresh basil. No fingers in it, please. No fingers with the basil. If I must, okay. <laughs> no fingertips, please. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't feel good on the plane. <laughs> I love fresh I herbs. I do too. They're different. They're just different than the dried. And again, I don't need them chopped any certain way. It might help if you had a sharper knife. I could get out those ones I bought, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Already, they're already in the suitcase. And just dump a dump a it in there. <laughs> and these will go to the chickens. Yay. Yay, they like that. Yeah. And I just take some frozen green bean, green peas. Oh, I was just going to say, they better not be green beans. Yeah, that, I always do that in my videos, you know. I was going to say, I done picked up the wrong bag. Sorry, this is... <laughs> that knife's not sharp. That's okay. I'm going to get it. They say a dull knife's... It's more dangerous. ...dangerous than a sharp one. I know. I, I try and keep mine sharp. I did it. Yay. I conquered it. Okay. 
Now I'm just going to dump a dump of some peas in there. I don't know, about two-thirds? Something like that. They're frozen, and that's fine. My frozen toast butter. They're going to be fresh. They're not going to have that. They're just blanched and put taste. in the. Yeah. yeah, they're just going to be like that. And now I'm going to put just some olive oil. And I'm just dump a dumping that too. And I'm going to mix this up. And in the meantime, we've got water on to boil the pasta. And as soon as that gets to a boil and I put the pasta in, then I'm going to take some of the pasta water and put it in here. And that's going to rehydrate those sun-dried tomatoes just a little bit. It's going to rehydrate the herbs. And it's just going to make all those flavors come together. So, I mean, how easy is this? It's just kind of dump a dump of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's going to kill me. You're going to go back talking like a, I don't know what, hillbilly Italian. He's going to laugh. <laughs> Actually, he'll probably shake his head. <laughs> and I don't think i got enough herbs. Okay. So I'm just going to add some more. I don't think you never have to. Well... Well, you could, you could, but not with this recipe, not with all this garlic. <laughs> now, if you want some, some pine nuts in there, you can add them, and they're really, really good. But guess what? We didn't get them. We here, couldn't find them. <laughs> here in Arkansas, you can't find pine nuts. <laughs> they didn't have them. So we none. said, that's okay, we're going to improvise. So now we're just waiting for the water to boil. We're going to start cooking the pasta and then we'll bring you back. Okay, our water is boiling now. So I have the tricolor rotini, which is, you can use whatever you want. This is just what I like. And all these little squiggles hold all that good stuff. So that's why I like it. So I'm going to cook the pasta. And I have salted the water already. Now I'm going to let this cook for just a minute or two, and then I'm going to take some of that water out and add to my peas and tomato and garlic mixture. Miss Lori said that I fibbed because this is not tricolor, because Arkansas store didn't have tricolor rotini. So they had four colors, Wacky Mac. <laughs> and that is so Italian. Veggies. It is, yes, Wacky Mac. <laughs> um, it must be a guy. Who knows? I don't know. Leave it to us. Leave it to us. So I got my Wacky Mac in there. <laughs> it's, That'll be good. It's been in there a few minutes. So now what I'm going to do is just take some of that pasta water. And I'm just going to pour it in there. I don't want it real soggy. But I do want to have enough that these sun-dried tomatoes start to plump up and rehydrate. And all of that garlic and the herbs just infuse together. So now I'm just going to leave that sit there for a few minutes while the pasta finishes cooking. Well, you know what? I just looked at this, and it needs more garlic. So, I'm going to add more garlic. I told you, Mrs. Lori. <laughs> I think you're trying to get rid of the vampires or something. You know, I'm going to have a, a row of seats all to myself. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> have it all to yourself tomorrow. I'm going to have a nice ride home. So, that looks more like it. See all those little white bits? That's the way it needs to look. Beautiful. For me. Hi. <laughs> me too. And what this is doing, it's defrosting the peas, but they're not cooked. They're just going to be nice, fresh tasting. Getting all those herbs and garlic flavor in there. And as soon as this pasta is ready, we're going to drain it, and we're going to put this all together. 
All right, we're going to put this on the platter and hopefully not throw it everywhere. Boy, it's going to be full. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you That's know. That's a bunch. More than what we thought, huh? Well, you can have leftovers. Okay. Yes, this will be good tomorrow okay. night. Or for Danny's lunch. And now we have all this strips of chicken. Yeah, this is Lori baked in the oven and she seasoned it up. So it's going to be nice and tasty. If I were smart, I'd use an oven mitt, but you know what? Hey. Not. <laughs> we ain't got time for oven um, mitts. No. Uh -uh. Nope. Well, that's pretty. It is pretty. And that is a platter full. And this is pretty much a complete meal, but we got some toast to go with it. And this is going to be a wonderful healthy sort of Italian meal. So, a little more. anybody jealous? I just want to know because I'm fixing, Miss Lori's fixing to sit down <laughs> and chow down. And Mr. Brown. And Mr. Brown can have some too. <laughs> this is great. Thank you, Miss Vicki. You are very welcome. You ready to eat? Let's eat. Okay.